This photograph must have been taken around about 1930. And in the photograph, there's uh, my grandfather, whom I never met, and my mother, and beside her is my uncle. And then there's my mother's elder sister sitting beside my grandfather. My grandfather had a PhD in chemistry, and he also was a doctor. This is a lovely photograph, and uh, I think it's been, yeah, it, it really brings them to life uh, in a way which perhaps I haven't seen before. In 1933, Hitler came to power, and, and that changed everything, obviously, for a family like my own, mother's family, Jewish family. When I met my aunt for the first time, she told me about my grandfather, that when she was in Munich, my grandfather went to visit, and in one of the parks there, there was a stand with um, caricature posters of uh, eminent Jews. And there was a, a crowd gathered round who were jeering and sneering. And my grandfather uh, pushed his way through the crowd, and he went up to the posters, and he tore them all down, and then he just walked away. Nobody touched him, but this was the kind of man, apparently, that he was. He was an extremely proud man, a highly intelligent man, and he certainly would stand up to any kind of bullying or victimization. Well, I would like to think that some of those characteristics may have come my way to a certain extent. When I've been campaigning on environmental issues, I used to feel somewhat uh, uh, intimidated but um, there's always been that um, little bit of obstinacy which has <laughs> made me go ahead with things and even if I've been somewhat afraid. And I don't know whether my grandfather also felt, my goodness, what am I getting into, but nevertheless was driven to do what he had to do. Perhaps um, I've inherited that. Family is very important. I have you know, five children now and um, I think they, in their various ways, have all been doing very well for themselves. But we are a very close-knit family, and I'm extremely fortunate. I have a very, very loving family.